Hey guys, what's going on? It is the Shrothinator here, and I'm here to talk about stuff that's going around the WWE that you may not know, because um, it's you know like some stuff that's not being announced on TV. Um, also, some rumors. There's some confirmed stuff, some rumors, stuff like that. Um, if you guys have not watched the past Raw, spoiler alert, um, this match is happening at WrestleMania. Shane McMahon taking on The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Vince is handing this, uh, you know, the Ed McMahon Award to... Actually, the Vincent J Award to um, Stephanie on Raw. And then Shane comes out. It talks about how she doesn't deserve it. He's like, oh, I deserved it. And shit like that. They made a deal and everything. Um, Shane came back and says he wants control of Monday Night Raw because, you know, WWE, like it really actually is, is going in the shitter right lately. You know, he's like, oh, if you pay attention to ratings, he like brought in like, some like real life shit about it. And I'm like, holy shit, that's awesome. Like, they're actually making it like Shane's going to come in and save the company and stuff. Um, now, I think Shane will come in, and I think he will, well, obviously he did come in, I think he's going to stick around at least for a while, and he's going to change the WWE back to, not completely back, but like, bring us back to like the 2007 days, like when I was watching it and stuff, and that's when I fucking loved it. Um... When you know, like there was a cruiserweight title, there were some little guys getting, um, you know, what they deserve, like getting a chance and stuff like that. Um, now, there's a lot of stuff going around about what's going to happen at WrestleMania because it's like, you know, it's like obviously you can't just have Shane beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, you can't just let that happen. So, one of two things are going to happen. Either Shane, the, the authority's gonna try to screw Shane, and that's when Triple H shows his true colors and actually helps out Shane and says screws him over or something like that. Or Taker actually wins at Mania in whatever way he wins, and he goes ahead and brings up NXT with Triple H. Not all of NXT, but you know, brings up some of NXT with Triple H. And he goes ahead and does an invasion. Kind of, you know, bring up like Balor, oh, um, Samoa Joe, Baron Corbin, Enzo Big Cass, Gable and Jordan, maybe even the Vaude villains. You know, like just bring up some guys from NXT that deserve to uh, be pushed already. You know, bring up Bailey even. Um, then, boom, you're good to go. Just have an NXT invasion then. And then eventually what I want is I want the brand split. So, you know, like Shane would be owning Raw. Triple H, it's, you know, it's NXT wouldn't actually be, like, part of the main roster or anything. So that technically wouldn't, technically wouldn't count. Just bring out some of the guys from NXT and then have a draft. See which, uh, see which show they go on. And then also you got SmackDown, which should either should be owned by Stephanie. But I saw a picture online. It wasn't like a real thing, but it was like some guy photoshopping, and it was like, oh, Raw, Shane, NXT, Triple H, and SmackDown, Paul Heyman. And I'm like, oh my god, if Paul Heyman owned SmackDown again, yeah, oh my god, it would make my fucking day, dude. It would make my day. I would love it. Uh, but yeah, brand splitting after WrestleMania is a strong possibility, it looks like right now. And there is actually an event named, I don't know if it's a thing, a typo, if they just couldn't fit enough letters for SmackDown or something. But my buddy Ryan post, um, uh, showed me on Twitter, and it said, Monday Night Raw versus WWE. I don't know anything more. It's in March... I want to say March. Yeah, I want to say it's in March that it's a event saying... Oh, no, it's in May. It's in May. Um, it's an event saying Monday Night Raw versus WWE. I don't know. It looks like something's happening after Mania. Something's going down. <laughs> but, yeah, I simply can't wait for this year to... Um, 
to come. You know, the partnership with Tap Out, I think, is great. Um, everything just seems to be going a lot better um, after Mania, it seems like. A lot of things are going to be going better. Um, possibly AJ Styles and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. We got Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar confirmed for WrestleMania. Triple H versus Roman Reigns. Snooze Fest headlining Mania. Um, I'm trying to think of other matches that are confirmed, but I don't think any matches are confirmed after that. Oh, um, Charlotte's defending the Divas title against either Sasha Banks or Becky Lynch. Um, Sasha and Becky will be facing each other on an episode of Monday Night Raw. Not, like, um, I think it's this coming up Raw, actually. And the winner of that match, of course, will be facing Charlotte. And I think everybody can tell it's got to be Sasha. I mean, it just makes sense. Like, Sasha hasn't fought for the Divas title yet. She's the best diva in the WWE right now, her and Paige. In my personal opinion, I think Sasha and Paige are the best. They're both great in the ring. They're both uh, great on the mic. Whereas Charlotte's like the female Roman where she's pretty good in the ring. Not terrible, but she's not good, really. And she's horrible on the mic. So that's why I don't want Charlotte to be champion anymore. Because she, she was good. I liked her in NXT a lot. Like, I mean, I pushed for her hard. Like, I was wanting a push from her super hard. And then when she got to the main roster, she turned out to be worse than she actually is. Um, then you also got rumors of Finn, you know, of course, the Finn Balor, Baron Corbin, Samoa Joe. You got Enzo Big Cats in the rumors also coming to the main roster um, this year. Uh, rumors are Tommy Dreamer and Rhino are both done for um, for live uh, shows like you know like Monday Night Raw or Friday night, uh, Thursday Night SmackDown. Apparently, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino are both done with that stuff. They're just gonna be doing house shows, if anything at all now. Uh, you know, Dudley boys are healed. There's a plan. Apparently, of course, another rumor that Bubba Ray Dudley will end up going as a singles as a heel where he'll have like a little feud with Devon for a while. I don't know why, but um, I kind of just wanted to see them as a face tag team for the next two years, in all honesty. That's all I wanted to see from them. Um, then you also got stuff like uh, retirements and people leaving. Like bad news, you know, Barrett. Wade Barrett is going to be leaving the WWE in June. That's at least his plan. There's, um, oh shit. <laughs> but yeah, he plans on leaving in June after his contract runs up with WWE. Then you got Brie Bella retiring in the summer. So around the same time as Barrett leaving. And then Vince McMahon uh, wants to end up. Where was I going with this? <laughs> I just don't even remember what I was just about to say. Oh yeah, Vince wanted uh, Daniel Bryan to have a non-wrestling role, apparently. Which I think would be awesome. Uh, because apparently Shane owns Netflix in China. I did not know this. Um, again, something my buddy Ryan told me. So, apparently he won't be able to stay consistently, or at least too long, something like that. He won't be able to stay the entire time in WWE. Um... So maybe that'll be an opportunity for Shane to get over with the fans a lot and say Daniel Bryan will be the new GM of Raw or something like that. That would be really cool. Um, also, something that would be really cool is if they split the brands, they um, they keep that draft going that they used to do every year. You know what I mean? Bring the draft back. I really want the draft back. That brought something to the um, the splitting of brands. It made everything a lot better. Not just have the same guys be on the shows all the time. The draft obviously made it a lot better. Yeah, so that's a lot of stuff that's going to WWE right now. There's rumors that Rollins could return at Mania, but they're keeping on the down low. Um, his therapy apparently has been going very well. His physical therapy. He's been doing it like six hours a day every day. So he should be back before May now. When it was set, he was supposed to be between back between May and 
May and um, August. It's supposed to be back between May and August, but could be back early as the beginning of April. So, anyway, John Cena is going to be coming back after Mania more than likely. Uh, Orton should be back by Mania. Cesaro should be back around April or May. So, uh, yeah, that's that's all the news I got for you, I believe. So make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And, of course, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.